Hey, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be showing you. Um, I'm doing treat packages today, so I'm going to be putting together some coloring books. Um, this is going to be the front and back cover of my coloring books. These are the bags that I put my coloring books in. These are the um, inside pages that I use for my coloring book. I need to get my extended stapler out. I try to have all my stuff sent together, whatever I'm going to use that's going with it. Like my Capri Suns, I have my hole puncher with it and my scissors. Um, these are going to be my airheads. I have my crinkler scissors. I use my crinkler for anything that I'm using the scissors on. So uh, my airheads, my starbursts, all of those would be using my crinkler scissors. I'm making party hats. So this is going to be my party hats. I've already cut most of them out. I'm going to use the pom-poms to glue on the top of the hats. And then I have some elastic, um, just some elastic screen that I'm going to use to screen the side of the hat so they can put it on their face. These Pringle shakers I made for my grandbaby. Everybody love these. So um, this um, particular, particular customer wanted Pringle shakers. Um, it's a can of Pringles, which I have a whole little case over here. I used the 1.4 size. I have a pant can of uh, Pringles. I cut out, I print a sticker, stick the sticker around it, and I use my Cricut to cut out the two pieces I put at the top. The globe, I use the, um, these are Christmas clear fill, uh, clear fillable round globes. These are the same ones you would use to make, um, Christmas ornaments. Okay, those are the pom-pom for the hats. I use these sequins. I get these from Dollar Tree. I also can get some from Hobby Lobby. I have a whole, um, box of different stuff that I use. To put inside of the uh, top of the globe, I use different sequins, um, glitters. What is this? Diamond dots freestyle. These some cute little sparkles. I'm gonna use the, I use those with girl different kind of glitters. Um, I have some little happy birthday confetti. Just different confettis or sequins or. Um, stuff like this I like the tool confetti because it, it looks a lot better but I keep it in my little HP box they send my ink in I'll be making um using storage out of all kind of stuff okay but um I also have these I stick at the bottom as you see at the bottom of Talia's my, my grandbaby it had um it actually had a butterfly at the bottom but he's a boy so I'm just gonna put a little diamond at the bottom um these are my first time actually doing these y'all when I made this one, it was my first try. So, with my coloring books, I have my crayons class pack with my 800 coloring books. And then, as you know, if you've seen any of my other videos, I use the pretzels uh, resealable packs to uh, stick my crayons in. Okay? So, a lot of this stuff, my scissors, my hole puncher, all of this stuff, I'm going to be leaving the links in the do description down below for my Amazon where I bought it from the links are is it's the same links if you buy off the links that I put in the um description whenever you're ready to purchase your items for this stuff I do get a a credit or a little a little change you know just a little change that'll help with me uh, making these videos for y'all getting this content out so if y'all buy from that link that'll help a lot put a little coins in my pocket um, but it doesn't charge you anything extra. It's still the same price as if you went on your own Amazon and bought it. It just gives me credit for getting y'all to go and purchase those same items. I have my portable glue gun. I love this. If I'm running late for a party, my husband will drive and I can glue whatever I got to glue in the car while I'm on the way there. By the time we get there, they stuff ready to go. I've been in a rush sometime, y'all. I take last minute orders. Okay. I got my glue sticks. I love the long glue sticks. I, that's just what I have right now today. Normally, I have the long glue sticks. They on this table somewhere. I use the long ones. Um, what else? I'm doing bubbles. They got my airheads. I got this from my wholesale supplier at Candy Warehouse. If you've seen my other videos, you know the Candy Warehouse that I go to. This was a 12-pack for only $9.99, y'all. I'm doing donuts. The donuts and the Pringles, I'm sure I'm not going to get those in this video because I am shipping this order out. Um, I'm probably going to get this in another video. I'll show y'all how I do my donuts, how I do my Pringle shakers, 
more than likely in another, another uh, video. But I am doing my airheads, my bubbles, my starbursts, my party hats, my cups, my plates. And I use this machine for my plates. I got this from Michaels. I love when Michaels had a 20% off sales. I use that to get anything that's kind of expensive. Um, I have my other glue gun. This is my mini glue gun. I like to use these when I'm doing smaller items because it don't push out as much glue as my big glue gun that I love to use when I'm doing my chips. You know, it's faster. Um, I have these. These are wire cutters. I use these to cut off these. Um, they come with little stems on the end of them, y'all, so you can connect it and put a screen. I cut those off so when I glue my globes, I don't have any extra. All right, so I think I have showed you all everything that I'm doing. Oh, my cup. I get these cups from Party City. The template that I have is a nine ounce template. I purchased the template from Etsy, but I can, um, I'm remaking these templates now so that anything I'm showing you and teaching you, you can have the exact same template that I have. So you can make sure that everything that you do comes out exactly like mine's come out. So just give me a little bit more time. I am working on getting those templates out to y'all. So anything that you're learning from me, you can take downloads, those templates, and we can go through it right together and you can make this happen. Okay. Um, all right. So I sold y'all everything y'all needed. I'm going to go ahead and get started with this video. All right, y'all. So the first thing I'm going to be doing are the cups. Okay. Um, I bought this nine ounce pack from party city um i keep saying um i'm sorry y'all i bought this nine ounce cup from party city they used to have something like this at dollar tree but i can't find them anymore i cut my um labels i use an eight and a half by 11 page eight and a half by 11 i cut my labels uh two at a time i do one side i cut it exactly as it's supposed to be with no white showing and the other side i use a little white if you can see, I leave a little bit of white so that my label can lay on top of it and not on top of my other um, part of my design. And then, boom, that's it. So, I've already cut all of my pieces. I have to do 24 cups. I'm going to do a few of them on here with you all today. All I do is pull the sticker back because I use waterproof, glossy sticker paper. I either get it from NATO. Or I get it from um, Amazon. I leave both links in the description. I do not get a credit for NATO. But I do get a credit for the uh, Amazon labels that I use. One thing about the ones that I'm going to put in the description for Amazon. If you're new to this. You cannot come back up once you lay it down. But I love them way better than I love NATO. Because they're most sturdy. I don't have any creases in my cup. What am I doing? Why you can't see? Okay, there you go. I'm sorry, y'all. I was out of frame. But I don't have any creases in my cup. These stickers that I have right here, they came from Amazon. They, I love these. They're perfect. If I have a little piece, as you can see. Where's my camera? I just take a pair of scissors, push it in there, and boom, you don't see it anymore. Okay? I try not to touch too much on the cups because someone will be putting their uh, mouth on these. So I don't touch too much on the uh, cups when I'm doing this. You can always use a pair of gloves just to be sure. But I work a lot faster with my hands and I help wash them um, very good before I start touching on these baby stuff, okay? And like I said, anytime you're having a problem getting up under that bottom of that cup, take your scissors, push it in. I'm out of frame. I'm sorry. I'm going to redo that over, y'all. I'm going to do that one more time. All I did when I went above is just took my scissors and pushed it in. I'm going to fix my camera because... Um, there we go. So y'all can see me better. Okay. So, um, I purchased this template off of Etsy a while ago. I'm going to be recreating it myself um, in Photoshop so you all can... If you're interested in doing your party treats, you can go ahead and purchase the template. This one is a little bit off. Take my scissors. It's a little bit too far at the top. And I do have extras just in case. But what I do here, which I'm going to do is just take this one back off because it's up too far at the top. And because I have another cup, it'll be okay. 
we'll just do another cup. So you will have some, well you won't. I normally do this and don't have no problems. I don't know if I'm rushing through it or what. But um, I always print an extra couple because I like to, I like to keep one for myself for some reason. So if I got 12 coloring books, I always print 13. And as you can see, it goes right on top of it. Like it posted. Look. No dents, no creases, no wrinkles. Okay? And that's probably because of my, my paper I use, my template I use. Everything matches up. But that's it, y'all. I'm going to um, go ahead and start doing the rest of these cups. The paper that I use, I will come back and show y'all. I'll leave the link in the description. I just want to show y'all how easy. Once you've done the design, you've used the template to do the design. All it takes from now is you just, and I try to push it all the way up in that crease. All it takes from now is just you laying this sticker down. Very simple, as you can see. I can do 12 of these, 24 of these, probably in five minutes if I went on this camera. And it come out perfect every time, y'all. Okay? All right, so next I'm going to be showing y'all how I do my plates. You know what, I'm going to show y'all another thing that I do too when I'm doing, um, anytime I'm doing my stuff in boat that makes me move faster, I would take, and because I have a um, table that I'm using, even if I don't have a table, I'll be sticking these things somewhere everywhere. I take and I already take my stickers and I um, pull them apart and just lay them all over, okay? And what I do is, what makes me move fast, I call it the stick. Um, I take my finger, stick it. And I just keep going from here. As you know, um, they already pulled off. So all I got to do is keep it moving. Okay. Boom. Put it in my cup. Get it up under that crease if I can and seal it together. You can always, if you had to, cut that little extra piece off that don't want to fit up under there. They're not going to see that piece anyway because it's already pushed in up under the top part. Okay? But yeah, I'll just get an area when I'm doing a lot of them. And you should you should do the same when you're doing a lot of them. Just get an area. Uh, lay out all your stickers. Turn them over as, as good as you can. But make sure it's an area where you have space. Because if you're trying to do it and you don't have that much space, as soon as your arm moves the wrong way, you're going to end up tapping one of these uh, stickers and getting it balled up and messed up and it'll, be, it'll just be a disaster. So just make sure if you're doing it that way, you do have enough space. I do it, uh, I could be sitting down watching TV doing this. I'm doing it on my table. And if I'm sitting down watching TV, I have it on my lap. I have it on my, um, I have a laptop um, thing that I will keep my laptop and stuff on i'll lay that out and then i'll just lay the stickers all over there it's like a a laptop thing that you sit on your lap what is that sorry about that y'all i think the lid on connected to the tv and cut on this thing on um she on the phone but i don't know what she don't did y'all but okay that's it i just wanted to give you a bulk option of when you're doing these cups Lay your stickers out, lay your cups out, and and and, and keep it moving, y'all. All right, everybody. So the next thing I'm about to do, I'm about to use my Xerox machine from Creative Station. Um, it comes just like this. All you have to do is pull this out. I'm gonna stick the um. So because I want these tape adhesive at the top of these. I stick them in this way and the machine will make the adhesive where it can stick to my plates. These are the plates that I use. I have these from um, Dollar Tree. Um, they're the clear, the clear plastic plates from Dollar Tree. I use the thinner paper. This is just um, um, glossy paper that I use that I bought from Amazon. And let me make sure. Am I putting it on the right side to get adhesive? Yes, I am. Okay, so what I do is I lay both of them in the inside. Okay, I can turn this around like this. Once I spin it, 
it can all I have to do is push down and slide this and it cuts it off it cuts it completely off where I don't have to worry about cutting anything else and then all I have to do is pull this paper back y'all I don't put it on the wrong thing on the side I don't put it on the wrong side why I do this every time like I don't never do this before okay no worries I'm gonna have to go in and redo this um one second y'all one second so this this time I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the right way okay normally I be on I haven't I did these about two weeks ago so I'm gonna take my um stickers I'm sorry I had to redo that y'all the stickers actually go this way to get the adhesive on the back of it um one second I don't lay my paper down the wrong way all right so once I stick this in here that way spin it around turn it like this it's gonna come out the back all I have to do is take my slider slide it down and it cuts it off okay so this machine adds adhesive to any side that you want to put it on I'm using it on the front side because I want it to lay flat down on my plates I don't want to have to have um, adhesive I mean I don't want to have to have the sticker on the inside of the plate where they have to eat it okay so once I do that I just lay my sticker down and then I'm gonna lay my plates down right on top of it I make sure that it's centered I normally have on a glove so that I can slide it and make sure it's sealed. But that's it, y'all. That is a plate. And I like it this way versus having the sticker on the inside. These plates will stick together, too. I don't want them to have to have a sticker on the inside of their plate. Okay? Like this. I want it where they can be able to touch the food. I mean, the food can lay on their plate without anything touching it okay so make sure you turn it the opposite way that you want the adhesive i push it in and that's all it take y'all so that's how i make my plates um stuff like this really takes me no time to make i run through this stuff um it's a great business to be in when you can sell these treats and party plates you know if you can do any all this stuff with this um what am i trying to say <laughs> you can do anything um it don't take much this machine i gotta think about how much it was i don't think it was no more than about 40 dollars for this um machine y'all did i push it in that far enough i did not i did not slide it in that far, far enough there it goes and i caught it on sale at michael's okay I caught this on sale at Michael's. Uh, you know, Michael's be having like 20% off or something or something like that. So I got it from Michael's. So I think it was about $40. I'm not sure what it was, but whatever it was, it has made me back that amount tenfold with no problem, y'all. So it's definitely worth getting. Um, people like to add these to their party packages. People love to add, actually love to add these to their party packages. And I just do it like this, so I don't like to be touching all over the plates because uh, someone will have to eat out this plate. I don't want them to have to wash it out before they use it, so normally I do use gloves. But in this case, I'm just being extra special just not to touch their plate in the inside at all. Okay? But that's it. That's how you make the plates. You get the plates from Dollar Tree. Okay? And then you get the machine, print your uh, stickers out on clear, glossy paper. I mean, not on clear glossy paper, on clear paper, glossy, on, on glossy paper, y'all, I'm sorry. And once you do that, put it through the machine, and you're good to go. The, hard, the hardest thing I would say doing is um, the artwork. That's, that's going to be the hardest thing y'all have to worry about, the artwork. Once you get the artwork ready, the other stuff is, is nothing to do. When it comes to the chip bags, the Rice Krispie treats, none of that stuff is hard to do, y'all. Okay, all of this stuff is very plain and simple to do. I just not one of them cups down I wasn't using, but I just make sure I center it like I want it, push it down, then I can still go behind it, push my hand to give it that extra seal. And that's it, it takes nothing to do. 
so far while we all on this live i don't about made all the plates too i mean not on this live on this video two four five six seven eight um it's only been about four minutes that's how long it took me to do that the longest part that it takes you to do is when you're doing um the longest part that it takes you is the design once you get that design and down pack then you a one and good to go it's definitely always the design and it takes the amount of time the longest amount of time y'all but as far as this go it's nothing I'm messing this paper up, moving too fast. But all right, y'all, let's get to the next thing I want to show y'all. Um, that was pretty plain and simple to get done. Um, I've already showed you the cups and the plates. One time, I'm going to do this without being in a rush, and I'll be able to show you some other stuff that I got going on. But um, where I be wanting a lot of time to get this stuff done, in this case, I didn't have as much time as I needed because I do have to ship this stuff off. So um, I really don't have much time to sit and show y'all. But um, let's move on to the next item, y'all. All right, y'all. So the next thing we're going to do are some party hats. I've already printed, um, cut out. I printed it on an eight and a half by 11 um paper i've already i used a template for this um i cut three at a time once i cut my three which saves a lot of time it comes out and it looks like this yeah. i have a guide that tells me where to glue my glue on the side so if i glue my glue following this guide you can also use double-sided tape y'all but once i glue my glue down the side i try to match it up with the other side. It's not recording. It's not recording. Wow, really? I hope you didn't do that a lot of times. It's only on six seconds. It is recording. I thought you were talking about this one. You're weird. You need to go on about your business. You over here interrupting me. Oh, you talking about my TikTok. Yeah, I did the TikTok over there. He throw me off, y'all. I'm sorry about that. A little fun fun walking in here all in my business okay so once i've glued that and then made sure it matches down that side i have some pom poms here i got these from um what was that hobby lobby for 249 um i just take the pom pom stick some glue at the top of here well actually i can just stick some glue on my pom pom once i do that uh oh i'll just glue it to my um to top of the hole that i had at the top come on glue look at that that's so cute okay next um i'll take my is that though knife and i'll make sure wherever i want my center to be i didn't pre-do my holes which i should have and I just make a little hole here. And then I make a little hole on the other side. Okay. I can do my holes um, pre doom in Photoshop. Just center it off on the end. But we going to work it like this, y'all. I have this elastic. I got this off Amazon. I will include the link below. Um, if I can get it loose. Okay, there it go. I almost got it loose, y'all. There we go. So, I'll just take my elastic. I'm going to stick it in that hole I made, which is a very tiny hole. Once I get my, um, where the hole is, I'm going to take my Zetso knife and just push my elastic inside the hole. Be careful because this knife is sharp. Okay, and as you can see, my elastic came out on the other side. Boom. Next, I'm going to tie a string Tie a knot 
so that it doesn't move okay and because I want these secure like I have bought them where they pop right off once I tie this knot I'm gonna also hot glue it stick a little dot of hot glue down it so it doesn't move y'all did you see that and then I'm gonna clip this extra that I have hanging off okay so I have my hot glue I've already hot glued it to that part of it and then I'm gonna leave a little I'm not gonna leave too much slack but just a little slack what I feel like it can go around a they um neck okay because it does pull once I do that I'll take and I'll push in again with my um is that no knife it came out on the other side I'm gonna click the extra piece go ahead and pull it in and then I'm gonna tie my knot and once I get done if I wanted to put this around the bottom of my face I could come on now the little knot giving me a problem y'all okay there you go And just make sure if you're using this same elastic to double, to, to glue it, so that you making sure it's secure. Okay, it's not going to move with that glue right there. Okay, there we go. And then I'm just going to cut that extra piece off. And we're going to be good. The gloves are um, up under my counter in the front. That's it, y'all. There go a nice party hat that they can take. I don't want to put it too hard and glue it around they, they, the bottom of their face. That's a cute little party hat. All right, so there go the party hats. I've already showed you the cups, the plates, um, the party hats. I hope you understood that pretty much. It all depends on the template, y'all. Once you have this template, that's what does it. Once you have the template, as you've seen, I just glued it down the side, stuck the pump arm at the top, stuck the little holes in it, put the elastic, and that's it. They're going to be able to pull this because this glue going to hold it. They're going to be able to pull on this and put it around their face. All right. That's it, y'all, for that. Um, I'll leave the link for the elastic, the paper, the pump arms I got from Hobby Lobby. All right. Let me go to the next one. All right, y'all. So the next thing I'm gonna do are my starbursts. I've already um, I ain't did nothing. I was gonna say I already cut them. I thought normally I'd be done cut at least some of them by the time I come on here, but um, I'm gonna cut three at a time. I have these on glossy sticker paper. Um, based on my template, it rounds out to be the size that I need. So. I don't cut my um, size. I cut my size with a crinkle with my crinkle scissors. So I cut my top, both of my tops, and then I go down the side with my crinkle scissors. Where are they? I just had my crinkle scissors. Okay, here they go. They hiding up under my my book. So I go down, cut my sides, and I cut close to the color so I don't see any white. Um, then once I get to cut my sides, I can go back and cut my other two pieces. But because I'm cutting three in a row, sometimes, um, if I cut them completely off, I can't line it back up. So being that this paper was flat, if I did it like this, it'll come back together. So I just try to cut those sides before I even go any farther with cutting the rest of this. And honestly, um... I should just cut it in half and left some white because I don't be want to cover up the design. All right, so as long as you're putting this on sticky sticker paper, you'll be good to go. The sticker paper that I use is good for this. The one that I was using, the NATO paper, you can't use it for um 
the NATO paper that I, I'm going to leave that link in the description too. You can't use that paper for Starburst. Uh, the sticker paper. It, it don't stick at all. It really don't. Um, when I first started, I tried using the sticker and it didn't work. So that thin paper that I use, that glossy paper, you can use that and it'll work pretty good. And then you'll just have to glue it. But I prefer to use the sticker now that, that sti this particular sticker paper, it sticks real good. It don't come up. But that NATO sticker paper, it don't stick that good to this, y'all. So this is my Starburst front. I make sure that in the sides, I push in on both sides. And I just squeeze it together to give it that Starburst look. Okay? So I just push in the side. While I'm pushing in the side, I'm pushing my finger to both ends too. So that it just come together and squeeze together. And with this particular sticker paper and any white uh, sticker that you have that's kind of sticky left over, just clip that right on off of there. Because you don't want stuff to be sticky, sticky. But this particular paper, y'all, it holds together real good. That other um, paper, the NATO paper, does not hold that good with stickers. Um, by the time I set it up on the table, this don't came loose. And this stick of paper right here, it ain't coming loose. So, I used to have to hot glue this stuff together. But being that I'm using this good sticker paper now, the one that I'm going to put in the description, you can use the stickers for the Starburst. Um, it don't really take much, y'all. This is only six pieces of paper to get these 12 out. For Starburst, I charge, um, I think I charge $45 a dozen for Starburst. Um... So it's definitely worth six pe six pages. That's all it's taking of your sticker paper sheets. Um, the ink doesn't cost me much because of the printer that I have. Um, because I'm doing these videos, I don't, I mean, I get the credit from the ads. I hope you all are watching the ads if you have a little time to, you know, check your text messages while the ads go through or do something that, you know, that'll help you not get bored by the ads or not get annoyed by the ads the ad does help i am taking out my time to just give some of you all some tips so i would um appreciate it if you did watch the ads but it's no big deal if you had i mean some of them are skip stickers they are skippable ads but um just don't be annoyed by the ads that's coming in on this video it does help bring a little extra coins like i said before into my pocket so i just hope you don't mind with these ads that being said um, because I'm doing these videos, um, you know, on my time, I am going to hold off on giving out the name of my printer because I'm working on getting some kind of discount code where if you do order the printer from them, you'll get like a 10% off and I will get some kind of credit towards it. You know, that'll help as well. You know, that'll help me as well. So I'm working on getting that, and as soon as I do, I will be able to tell everybody what printer I use. Because the printer that I use, I can print for months and don't have to change my ink. And when I do change my ink, I use um, Comp Save, so I hardly pay anything for my ink. Okay? The way that I design my um, Starburst, I have multiple designs. As you can see, I have this design. I did three designs because I can cut three on a sheet. So it's just three different designs. It's the, that's one. That's the second or is it two? No, it's two different designs because I had two on the page. So I just do two different designs. You can always do the same design on both. I just like to be different and get them a variety of stuff that they have going on. But um, that's basically it. It's, it's the template. Once you get the template, you get the printer that you don't have to worry about. Keep spending money on ink. Once you get that, then you'll be all set and good to go for this street business. Uh, all it takes is the paper, the printer, and the products is really nothing. The little candies, the stuff that I use, that's that's really nothing. You can definitely make a profit off of this stuff. I live off of this. I don't have any other job. This is what I do. I do my treat business. I do my baskets. I do my dip treats. I do party balloons, stuff like that. All of that put together, I live off of this. I don't work anywhere else. But just the treat business aside, once you do get the clientele or even just somebody. I mean, my first time I posted a cake, my first ever cake. And to me, sorry about that, y'all. That's my alarm telling me. I try to get myself like 10 minutes to do certain stuff. But um, 
I posted my first cake and I got like five orders off that cake. And to me, honestly, that cake wasn't everything. Compared to what I do now, that cake was nothing. So it just took me posting that little video to get me some business. And then from those five people, they posted. I always ask them to post or I would post and tag them in it. And once I do that, they're going to repost it. Um, they people see it and then they come to me. I mean, that's just how it goes. I, I do it on Instagram. So I would take a picture, tag them. They'll repost me. Next thing I know, I got three, four DMs. For somebody that they saw it on their page and they want it. And not all the time they're going to order that same night. But they always come back and order. That's money that you can look forward to in the future. So that's how you build your clientele up. Basically by um, word of mouth. Posting. Just doing one. Showing them that you can do it. And like I said, my first cake. It was five to be my very first cake. It really was. It was a dice cake. Um, but... I got a lot of orders off that cake. I think I got five orders off that one cake. So, and like I said, sometimes it might take a little time for them to place the order. But, that's money that you know you can look forward to. It's a good business to get into. Even if you just take one of your cousin's parties, your friend parties. They gonna have to pay y'all for y'all stuff. Don't just say, oh, it's my first time doing it. I'll do it for you for free. No, I won't. You're going to have to pay me to get the product and pay me a little bit on my time. I'm not going to charge you as much as what everybody else charge you, but I am going to charge you, okay? And if you a friend of mine or a family member, you should not have no pressure with paying me anything to help me uh, further my business. Because the fact that I'm doing it for you, like I said, your people going to see it, more, more people from me going to see it, and they going to put me on the map. So, um, they should not have no problem with paying you because they're going to go out there and pay Tom and, and everybody else. So, it, they should support you enough to let you do one of their parties and, and put you on the map. Okay? Don't do it for free. Don't don't waste your time. I don't care that it's your first, this first, that my first cake. I charged them the price I was going to charge for good. Like, once I came up with my price, he, he was in my first cake, but he still paid the, the regular price, if you get what I'm saying. Yeah. No, he was a family member. I did give him a discount, but but still, I'm just saying, don't you don't start off doing it for free just because you feel like, oh, I'm, I just started. I don't know if I'm good enough to be charging this price. Yes, you is. Your time is worth money. Your time, you your time is not free. So make sure that you charging for your first stuff. I had a um person on my live the other day. She was she was saying she did some good stuff. Um, and she was letting them like the diaper cakes and stuff like that. Christine, I think it was, and um. She wasn't charging them people for that stuff. You got to charge for your, your time. Whether you a beginner or not, you still got to pay me. Now, if I'm a beginner and I do something wrong, I mess up, okay, I don't mind giving you a discount. But up, t up front, you're going to pay me, okay? Let's not get it twisted. But that being said, as you can see, I'm rolling on these Starburst, y'all. I got it going. My seals is getting a little gluey because I am having to cut any excess white that I see off. I just turn it over to the back and I can see the excess white. And because it's a sticker, I don't want them to have to pick it up and get sticky on their hands. So I'm just making sure that I do that. But these Starbursts look good. Once you get the template, you get the sticker paper, the glossy sticker paper. That's all it takes. And look at that. His name is... I ain't gonna even say Samaji. I call him Samaji Melon. Not Coco Melon, Samaji Melon. It's his word now. So, um, yeah, it's nothing to it, y'all. I hope that this video give y'all some insight on what it takes to get this stuff done. As you can see, I'm sitting here talking to y'all and I'm moving fast. I'm getting it done. It's nothing to do. I can be normally looking at TV like I always say. I sit down and look at TV and do this stuff. Um, I just wanted to get this YouTube video out to y'all to show y'all some of the stuff you can do if you start your treat business. How easy and simple it is to get done. It's nothing. As you can see, I'm doing, bless you baby. I'm doing this stuff in real time. And it's moving pretty fast. I don't, bless you, boo. Yeah, I'm getting this stuff done real fast. It don't take nothing to do. I'm getting paid for this. I'm on my time doing this. I'm going fast as I can, though, because um, this is for somebody that I do have to ship out. If you're not following me on TikTok, I do post um, some little 15, uh, 60 second, or in between three minute um, 
videos where I show some of the stuff I do. If you're not following me on TikTok, go ahead and follow me on Yummy Tea Cakes on there. Um, Yummy Tea Cakes on Instagram. If you ever want to email me and ask some questions, um, I don't mind sharing any information. You can email me at Yummy Tea Cakes. Yummy Tea Cakes at Yahoo.com. Or you can DM me on my um, Instagram, Yummy Tea Cakes on Instagram. And um, I don't mind sharing any, any knowledge that I have. I've hit, you know, you have to, what they say, fall, crawl before you walk. And I've already crawled, honey. I am running. So I don't mind helping somebody who's trying to crawl and start running like me. I don't mind sharing any information. That's a weird way to say it, but yeah, I don't mind giving anybody, um, if it was any a roadblock that I hit when I first started, I love to be able to give y'all some tips to not be able to hit that roadblock so y'all can keep moving forward and, you know, having a successful business. Yeah, I learned, I, I, I mean, you gotta learn from your mistakes, and I've learned my mistakes, and I would like to pass along mistakes that I know. So that it can help y'all not make those same mistakes. That's a, that you know that's discouraging when you're doing something and you hit a mistake. You're trying to get something done and then everything just keep coming up going wrong. That'll discourage you in some kind of way. So I try to show y'all as, as best as I can um, the best ways to do this stuff. I know I'm moving a lot fast on this video. I'm going to make it one day. Um, I got a lot of orders coming up y'all. I had this TikTok video go viral and a lot of people give me getting giving me orders to have them shipped to them so i'm gonna take time i have some that's due like in the next three weeks i'm gonna go ahead and do them early just so i can take my time sit down and show y'all how it really goes versus i feel like i'm speeding right now i am speeding i just feel like i'm really speeding and going fast through it but at the same time this is how long it takes it takes nothing to get this stuff done it really doesn't. And this is a second income, um, second stream of money. For all of you all that's already doing this, I hope this video is helping y'all. Um, it's, it's really not much to it. All I did was print it out, cut it off, use my crinkle scissor to cut it. And the main thing is just going to be you all knowing what... Uh, you throw this away for me. E. And the main thing is just you all knowing which paper to use, which scissors to use. Once you know the correct stuff to use... That's going to put you where you need to be. That's all it takes. And then the design the end of it. I haven't figured out how to get it where I can show y'all how to design it and see my computer while I'm doing it on my computer. If anybody on here knows how to do that or what program to do that, go ahead and comment down below and let me know so I can go ahead and start showing y'all how I design my stuff. Um, yeah, I don't know how to scream it from my computer and video record at the same time. So if y'all, any of y'all know, y'all just comment down below. But as you can see, I'm going through this stuff, y'all. And um, this package, what I'm doing now, she paid over $500 for it. So, uh, and in all, I did the designs on my spare time while I was looking at TV. Um, it took nothing to do. And then the product, stuff like that. Out of the $500, I would say I'm making a $450 profit. 425 maybe just say but that's a lot to be able to sit down in your um comfort of your home or comfort in your business space on your time and get something beautifully created for your clients like this and make money um and this just one customer so imagine if i have two or three of these orders four or five of these orders that's a, a good amount of income that comes in monthly okay it's a good business to be on especially when the basket business is slow um I'm hoping all of you all's basket business is doing pretty good. Mine is not at the time because I just started. I don't have the clientele yet. But I am. I went and got some stuff for uh, graduation. I'm going to be posting a graduation basket. So hopefully um, I got a graduation basket. I got to get well soon basket. A wedding basket. A baby shower basket. I'm going to be doing auto basket posting them. So people know like when these events or stuff like this come up. They know who to go to and get this stuff done. Um... So, the next thing I'm going to do, we did the Starburst. The next thing I'm going to do is my coloring books. I'm going to go ahead and start on my coloring books. I've already designed the covers. This is a regular 8 and a half by 11 page. You can take a rectangle and put it down the center. Make sure it's aligned, and that gives you your front and back sides, and then you can design from there. I use a rectangle 
go straight across the bottom. That way it gives me my separator for that as well. It's nothing to design it. Um, once I get my stuff together, I'll show you all how to. This is 200 pieces of 6x9 clear reusable bags I got from Amazon. I'll leave the links in the description below. And once again, if you use those links, that do put an extra little um, coin in my pocket. So try, if you're going to order this stuff to get it done, try to use those links that I put in the description. It does not charge you any additional fee. Whatever you'll see on your regular pay, um, Amazon is what you'll see when you click my link. It's going to be the same price. It just gives me a little bit of coins for you all using it, uh, clicking the link through me. So make sure any of this stuff that I put in the description when you're ordering, just come back and order it if you can. That'll, that'll help me out. Um, I did my designs. I went on Google, found different kind of coloring pages. This is going to be my inside. I always go online to education.com and I make a word search for the baby name. Whatever the baby name is, I make sure I put Yummy T. Cakes in there too, honey. I had to put that in there. I put whatever age they is. I put their name, birthday, just a little bit. It's JJ because it's Coca Melon. Put Coca Melon. I just put different words in there for a word search that'll go with whatever theme that they have. Um, I have another little words, um, a little puzzle says, can you help Coca Millie find his way to JJ and family? And then I just put happy birthday, Samaje, that's the baby name. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. This is going to be my back cover that just has his name and says, thank you for coming. Whatever your back cover is going to be, is also going to be your front cover. Um, I don't know if I want that to be my cover. I think I want this to be my front cover that says, thanks for celebrating my birthday with me, but I'm, I'm not deciding yet which one going to be my front cover. I may just make this my back cover. This will be the one in front of it. Like this. And then this will be my middle. So what I'm going to do now is um, I'm just going to take, separate my three pages. This is going to be my last. So I have my last page, my inside page, and which I want my inside to turn this way. So the second page they're gonna see is the thanks for celebrating with me. So that's how we're gonna do that. And then we're gonna put our middle page. Once I do that, I can easily take, hold my hand if I'm clutching here and make sure that it's flushed out. Once I make sure it's flushed, all I'm gonna do is push the side down, go down on both sides. That gives me my center, there go my book. That's my first page, has his name and Coca Millie on the front. Second page is going to say thanks for celebrating my birthday with me. Um, next page is going to have Coca Millie and the word search. Middle page is going to have happy birthday Samaji. Coca Millie in there and I put him, if you can see. Ooh, I just got burnt by that glue gun. If you can see, I made him, I put him inside of Coca Millie's logo. All right, um, Samaje's first birthday. We have the help Coco Melly get to his family. And then the last page is gonna say his name, which is, I made him a melon. And then thank you for coming. All right, and then I just fold my, I fold these pages along. I can fold these three together, but this page. All right, my camera went dead there, y'all. Luckily I have like 10 batteries, so. Um, what I do, I still make sure that it's flush. And I do these one by one because this is a thicker, thicker cardstock paper. Once I label the, the links in the description, I make sure I put what I use, whatever paper that I'm putting down there for. Um, I use this same paper for my chip bags. And mainly that's it. Just mainly my chip bags. Okay. So I'm going to, um, once I get through doing this, I have my extended stapler. I, um, make sure you staple it this way. Because the other way the babies can easily catch their hands in the staple and stuff like that and get cut. Let me grab my staple real quick. All right, so with my extended stapler, the one that I have, I'm going to leave in the description, it has it where you can slide it here. And if you slide it to wherever you want it to go, it'll easily be in that place every single time. So um, I use three staplers. Uh -oh. One in the middle, one in the end, and one at the top. Y'all gotta excuse my husband, friend. I think he forgot I was doing a lie. He just bust out laughing. I don't even know what's so funny. What's so funny that you just had to laugh like that? Sorry, so funny, and it was a weird laugh too. Ha uh ha -huh. ha! Okay. <laughs> Um, but that's it, y'all. 
that's it for this coloring book for Samaji. I hope that I'm pronouncing his name right, but uh, as you can see, the staples in the inside. That way, if they plan, they can't rub and cut their hand in the back of there. But this is a nice coloring book. The next thing I do, I have my crayons class pack, which I showed in the beginning of the video. I take that and um, I would take my pretzel bag. Now, as I can say, um, hmm, this too. Do you want to see the plates and stuff? Okay, so I take my pretzel bags, which these are 2 by 10 You can always get them smaller. And then what I do is I just pick out uh, so many different crayons and I seal it in the bag. It's a self-seal bag. So once you pull this piece here, it's going to seal it up. I also you leave that link in the description. I'll try to find some that's a little bit smaller that you can use, like a 2 by 6 But for these, I just use the regular pretzel bag that has the seal on the side. Put my different crayons in there, seal it up. Boom, that's it. Um, so I feel like I was moving really fast, but I did give y'all all the information y'all need to know about these coloring books. I'll leave the link in the description, what I use for my paper, which my paper that I use is like a really nice white, um, it feels like silky or satin paper that I use for the inside. I'll use the outside. I leave the bags and I also leave the box of crayons that I got. But other than that, it all comes down to your design. Like I said, for the coloring books, it's simple and easy. You have to just take an eight and a half by 11 page. You can put a rectangle down the center and then hold on to the page and the rectangle to make sure they get centered in the center together. And that gives you your two sides. That's the same as if with these, you just need your two sides to design these pages. It took me three pages, hold on, one, two, three pages to make these coloring books front and back. Once I printed the front, I decided what I wanted to go on the back of that page. Like if I once I printed this, I decided what I wanted to go on the back of that page. And when I did that, I just kept going from there. I printed me three pages and plain and simple. But you do have to design six pages to make this coloring book, which can be time consuming. But if you already have your stuff in folders like I do, like if I'm using Coca Milli, I've already found Coca Milli coloring pages and had them sent in the folder. So it's easy for me to just go grab those pages, put it in here, and then add the baby's name and stuff like that. When I'm adding the baby's name, I always make the color of the font white. And then I put a scroll around it that's black. So that's how it looks like this. You can just take any font that you like. Make the font white and then add a scroll to it. And that scroll is going to make it look like a coloring page, okay? Um, like I said, I do the color word search. I get that from education. I think it's education.com or education something. I'll leave that link in the description below. There's going to be a lot of links down there, but it's going to be a lot of information. And like I said, I hope you click those links whenever you're ready to buy. Um, that way you have the exact same stuff I have, all right? But... Other than that, that's it for the coloring books. I move on to the next item that I'm about to show y'all how to do. If you want a more detailed um, video, just leave in the comment down below. If you need me to make one just solely based on coloring books, solely based on hats, just leave a comment down below. Let me know if you're liking this video, if it's helpful to you. Even if you're not, if you're looking into doing this or you're already doing this, let's just, I don't mind having a conversation with y'all. I try to comment on as much as I can to come back in and show y'all the um crayons don't mind the box i told the story on why when my box looked like this in my um first video i posted about these treats so don't mind the box it was in my trunk of my car but this is what you all will get your best value out of right here it comes with 800 crayons and what i do i take my pretzel bags and i pick out five crayons and i um that was smart. My husband um, was doing the bags for me. So when you peel this off of these bags, he took a piece of tape. And so it won't be flying everywhere like this. He took a piece of tape and taped it, you know, just let everything hit it. So it wouldn't be a lot of paper everywhere. So that's just a tip for when you're using these pretzel bags. But with this crayon box, trust me, when I'm doing my coloring books and I'm doing 12 for this person, 24 for that person, this box is the best value i haven't ran out yet it definitely gives you a bit a good value i gotta start trying to maneuver around these colors so some of these that has a lot and some that don't hardly have none i can mix it up but leah probably don't be in here get my crayons y'all that's probably why some of these crayons missing but anyway um and i just mix it up like if it's coca i try to put some of the colors that's inside of coca in there with it but it really don't matter 
Um, I just switch up the colors. I try not to get them a bunch of bad colors like black, brown, and all them dark colors. I do a couple light and a couple dark. But I expect these kids to already have crayons at home because they are kids that's in school. So I really don't focus too much on what colors I put in there. I, I do, but I don't. But I just wanted to show you this is the box that I work out of to get my crayons packaged. And these bags fit five crayons in the bags, okay? Um, so I went ahead and finished my bubbles off camera, which is something I can easily show y'all another time. But I did show y'all the crayons. I mean, I showed y'all the coloring books. I showed y'all the... Did I show y'all? I showed y'all the hats. I showed y'all the plates, the cups. And I don't know if I should end this video. I don't know how long it ended up being already. But I do have my hats. I don't know. I showed y'all the hats. I do have my Pringle shakers. Which, it's a lot of work going to those Pringle shakers. I may have to just cut this video short. And I have the airheads and... um. A couple more things left that I have to do. The donuts. So, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. We're going to finish it up. I'll do another video with the rest of the stuff. But I'm going to go ahead and upload this with all the links to the stuff that I used in here. Um, other than that, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I told y'all why I got these pom-poms and stuff from. I still got all these hats to do. I got to figure out a, a better way to get my, um, my hole. I should have evenly inside of my design put two little circles but i don't have anything small enough to punch a hole in it so um i'm gonna figure that out and i'll let y'all know that on the next video if i come up with something better but right now as you know what i did i just stuck the little exacto knife and stuck my hole in it and let that be it but i'm gonna go ahead and end this video if you all like this video please go ahead and give it a like a thumbs up Comment down below if you have any comments or suggestions on anything that I have done in this video. If you have any questions, don't feel free. I answer as many. I've been slacking on my um, comments, y'all. But I'll go through and read all of them and, and um, answer every comment. I might be a few days late or a week late. But I do go through and read all my comments, y'all. So, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Um, Alright, see y'all on the next video. I'll bring back... Um, the other stuff that I didn't do. Alright, bye y'all. Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing some Pringle shakers. They are when the Pringle cans have the um, stuff in the inside. Confetti, sequins, different stuff in the insides to decorate the Pringle um, cans. Alright, so... Um, this is another Coca Milli thing that I'm doing. This one is actually one for my grandbaby that I did for her party. It takes a lot to do these um, Pringle shakers. First, you have the cans of Pringles. Then, you would need these snow globes, which are basically just clear ornaments, okay? Three inch ornaments. Then, you have to have your sequins to put in the inside. I did a video um, that I posted already. It showed a lot of this stuff already. Um, I just didn't have too much more time in that video left to show you these okay but they i just put different stuff in there you can put confetti this is some um little confetti hats that i got from dollar tree i got some that says happy birthday different ones like that different confettis um you can put glitters got this from michael's anything you want to put on there this being a boy i'm not going to use my glitters and stuff like that I have different little rhinestone studs. I have um, some bigger ones that I put at the bottom, which are these. I got these from, I think, Michaels or Her Hobby Lobby. Paper crabs, I think that's Michaels. But these are just some bigger studs that I would do on the bottom of it like I did my um, grandbabies here. I did a butterfly. But I think I got the butterfly from um, Dollar Tree. Not quite sure. But that's what it takes. Um, so... First, you have your Pringle cans. Then you have your sticker that goes around the can. Then you have your piece that goes on top of the Pringles that your globe would get glued onto. Okay. So first, I take, I clip my globes. They come with, um, let me show you. One. The globes come with pieces on the side of it. So I take my wire clippers and I clip those off. So I'm going to have those clipped off. Then I would start having one of my kids because I'm in a rush. I'll have one of them just start pouring different sequins in the tops of them. 
once that's done and this is all glued down i'm going to take this with the globe turned this way you know just glue it on there together but also inside of this i take smaller um pieces just say like this i make sure that it's not i think about one and a half inch tall something small enough for it to stick right in the inside on top of the globe like i did in here okay so some of them will have something in the inside like this and some of them will just have um confetti when i'm doing it the price that i charge i don't put something inside of all of them it's very time consuming because we already have our stickers we have our circles we have our inside piece that we will use our sequence then the globe but on top of that we have our bottom pieces which is this and our top so i have those as well i'm doing 24 so I, I it's easier if i just did everything one way cut all 24 the exact same way that's much much easier but me i do the most i like to be different so all my 24 pringles are all different so i have some of them that have the bus and the silver at the top that has samaj samaj melon i hope that's how you pronounce his name samaj melon with um silver glitter i have some that has the hologram and his picture i have some that has the gold and his picture these go here okay those are my tops and bottoms then after that what do we have some of my images um let's just say this one i left a piece in the middle i have him and then you see it's an empty space there for that empty space on that one it's going to go a one and I 3D to one. So in order to 3D to one, you have to have three different pieces. I have the printed part, the one that's offset just a little bit more, and then the one that's offset, which is the glitter way more. So it, it makes it 3D that way. And then I have these that I'm using for another one that had needed something in the space. I 3D this one as well. I 3D everything. Like as you can see, I got a lot of different ones and I switched up the color. So I'm 3D in it. I have him and then I have something offset that gives it um, a 3D look to it. Now on top of that, you have to have your um, phone, your phone tape, which let me go over there. Um, Kayla, can you give me that? package that's in my chair right quick you know my little um crafty bucket so what i also do to give it a 3d look i have i add the foam that makes it sick off of it so if you can see like this layer it sits off of it. it's just not right on top of it and if you look closer you'll be able to see the foam in the inside i think i'm saying it right I'm saying foam, but you bought everything. I just needed this. Um, let me get a space, y'all. So this is my little crafty bucket. I have a couple of these where I keep my glues and certain stuff like that. This is the tape that you're going to need. As you can see, it's thick. Okay. It has it where you'll get a different layer of thickness instead of just a little regular tape and i have different sizes in here these are the ones you have to cut which is kind of time consuming i use these for my hershey's purse as well but those are the ones you have to cut which is kind of time consuming i like the ones that are on a sheet that's already cut in circles it looked like i am out and why i didn't go get no more i don't know um i got this little keeper from um dollar tree dollar tree has this and they sell these for like a dollar so to just keep up with them they come in a pack like this so once i open them to not get them spilt everywhere i just use this which dollar tree has it and i'll be using some of these today okay um blues. yep i don't have any more i gotta order some more they something like this but they the same tape they just cut out in circles already um but that's it so it looks like i'm gonna have to take up take up some time and be cutting these which is another um added time measure that these pringles shakers are very time consuming must i say so if you're gonna do these just make sure you're definitely charging the right amount of price right now i'm charging i think it was um 
$60 for these Pringle shakers, but I, I honestly think they should be $75 a dozen or more. It's very time. A lot of time goes in it for me because, as you can see, everything is designed different. So maybe I could just keep my price the same and let them know that's with one design option. Or if you want two designs options, it's three. this price. You know, just charge for the different design, which most people would probably just keep it simple and do one. But I'm so extra. That's what I did, okay? Everything has a different design. Everything has a different piece in the middle. So instead of me doing all 24 with just him in the middle, I got different ones that I'm putting in the middle. But, um... That shit, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and get this thing started. I'll also be doing some airheads while I'm in this video. I had, um use sticky paper take my airheads and put them inside of here and then i have some donuts now these say powder donuts i should have put chocolate but i just um i wanted to give them a variety of chocolate and powder but in order to do that i can't change the powder okay i can but i just it's more time consuming i can just give them all powder but i i prefer to just give them both options you know but either way it goes, those are what I'll be doing in the video today. I have all of my donut um, packages already here. They've been cut out through Cricut. Um, it just takes uh, the size of the square. I have to get back with you with that. All you need is a square and then two other boxes on top of it to make that template. Okay, but it's also in Cricut or Photoshop. All right, so I'm going to set the camera up and I'm just going to be working. I'll try to get some tips as I'm working, but because I'm going pretty fast, I don't know how much information I can give y'all. But just enjoy this video if you like it please um like it <laughs> obviously if you like it please like it but yeah if you have any questions or comments just leave them down in the comment section i'll try to answer as many comments as i can as quick as i can but i will get to all of them um if you have any suggestions mind you i do these videos but any other everybody do it a certain way and i'm always open for any kind of suggestions that anyone may have if they feel like well you can do it this way quicker or you can do it that way quicker that works for me i'm not you know well i'm like oh no she didn't tell me to do it this way no all comments and suggestions are welcome so if you have any for me please do so because guess what this is actually just my second time doing these no one has ordered it but i got them at a price where it's worth my time. If you get it, you get it. You don't, you don't, you know. And even at that price, it's really not worth my time. It's worth my time. It's a lot of time, y'all. I don't know. It's, it's a lot of time. It's taken me about four days to do these. And that's when me having to do everything else at the same time. But this was my first set that I did for my grandbaby. This is going to be my first real order for these, okay? So, I had an order before, but I didn't have enough time to do it. So, I had to cancel her order because she wanted it in like a week. I, I just couldn't do it, so yeah this is where we at this is a lot of time goes into these let's just get it going and see how they come out success is a finicky thing and if you ain't sure no it'll never be i don't wanna let myself down my 